<sighs> Back by popular demand, we're going on a thrift store run. And we're filming our exploits on the way, our adventures, if you will. <sighs> Do I expect to find anything? No. <laughs> Woo! Never ever go out expecting to find anything ever. <sighs> I'll update you on the way. Not a single Ibis out today. I think we all are here to thank for that. Alright, we're coming up on the first up shop, just a thrift store one. Not a thrift A charity one. Connected to a church. Well, I've found stuff here before. DVDs and whatnot. Let's check what they have. Good afternoon. Alright, first place didn't have a whole lot, kind of like usual, but hey, picked up a movie with Thirst and Stallone. Two bucks, why not? On to the next place. Alright, going to a new location, just there. And there's a reason that I don't usually go there, because they usually have nothing. But we'll see. By the grace of God, we actually found something in there. From nothing short of a miracle. A DVD! I'm not sure if I got it on camera because the camera work was kind of hokey. A uh, very crowded place. Not able to film very well. Uh, Young Justice isn't really my sort of thing. Looks kind of like Teen Titans or something and... Eh, I don't like that kind of stuff, but... For two bucks, I'll give it a shot. And it is brand new, but... Look what I found, <laughs> lying on the ground, a Supernova ticket. Supernova was, yeah, on the 6th, so whoever dropped this, sorry mate. I thought we might do a small rant while we're out here. We have quite a way to walk before we actually get to the next op shop, so 
This is about pre-ordering games. There's a few people online that are saying that you shouldn't pre-order games because it messes with marketing tactics or some shit like that, but here's how I look at it. Bloody train. I'll do it when there's not so much background noise. Alright, the noise is gone. Let's say I take this advice and I do not pre-order myself a copy of a very niche title. The niche title being, let's just throw a random one out there, Persona 4 Golden for the PlayStation Vita, the collector's edition. I came with the soundtrack and whatnot in the art book. The store that I buy at only stocks enough to what the pre-orders will say. So if they get five pre-orders for that store, they are only ordering in five copies of the game. Meaning, I miss out. So because I didn't pre-order the game, I don't get it. Take that. Oh hey, cool, a macadamia nut tree. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Those ibises won't stand a chance. Oh, that last place was packed. <laughs> no way I got any good footage in there, but if I did, you'll see it. You'll also see what I grabbed, so to the next place and subsequently the last place. What is this, Mexico? <laughs> you can't have chickens just in your lawn. That's insanity. 
Kill him! What are you guys doing here? Hey guys, welcome back to another Secret of My House video. It's a Secret of My House bidding you welcome. I decided to do something a little different. Instead of just doing a weekly recap, I'm going to do a kind of shorter video where I don't show all the stuff I have done here immediately, stuff I picked up from the entire week, just stuff I picked up on a single day. AKA the stuff I actually got hunting footage for, so... Before we do anything, you would have seen all of the hunting footage, so you'll probably have seen a lot of the stuff here already, so... I'll just go through and show you what I bought, just in case you didn't see it, and... List down prices, in case you didn't see those. And I'll do it via order of which I bought it. And weirdly enough, order of... Quality, I guess. That's not intentional at all. The last place is where I scored the... Alright, you can go on the floor. Stupid thing. The last place is where I scored the biggest, and... Yeah. Receipt fell out. The first place I went to was a church op shop or thrift store. Pretty basic place. I don't have a whole lot in stock. But sometimes, like, if you go there once a month, you'll probably find something, so... They stock stuff gradually. They don't just put everything out all at once. When they get something in, they'll go, oh, Oi, Janice, put that stuff out. Yeah, all right. And then <laughs> you'll eventually find stuff. But it's not a very popular place. Not many people go in there, so when I go in, I usually have the place to myself. There's just the store clerks and me in there. Lovely old bunch of ladies just sitting down chatting about old age. And they didn't have any video games to speak of in there while I was in there, not even any computer games or anything, so... What I did grab was a DVD, because I do like to support the place. It's a, it's a nice atmosphere, it's a nice place. It's good to support a local business, so I grabbed a DVD for $2. Sylvester Stallone in daylight. No air, no escape, no time. I saw this years and years ago, but I'll be damned if I can remember exactly what it's about. I think it's about Sylvester Stallone and another character being trapped in a subway tunnel, but I don't remember. But for two dollars, I'm not going to complain. And the next place I went that you saw is a place that I usually don't go. I... <laughs> I usually avoid this place, even when I do go out on my kind of thrift store pilgrimage journey thing. Because they usually don't have anything. Nothing I'm interested in. In, and if they do have something I'm interested in, it's usually for a price a bit higher than I'm willing to pay, you know. I didn't get it on camera, but they had comic books there. <laughs> and they had them in sleeves, labeled Mint Condition, and four dollars each, which... Whatever. They can sell stuff for whatever they want to. They're a thrift store, but... I'm sure as hell not going to buy a random comic book for four bucks. And they had DVDs there, most of them marked $4 each, but for this one, for some reason, it was marked $2 each. It was the only one that I really would have picked up even for 2 bucks. so... Grabbed Young Justice Volume 1. Yes, Season 1, Volume 1. From what I believe, this only has like two seasons, and then Warner Brothers cancelled it, so... Who knows? It's probably not very good. Looks a little bit like Teen Titans, which... I did not enjoy that show. That show came out in a time when I just did not care about superheroes. Or really anything relating to this. But for two bucks, and it is still brand new, as you can see. Completely sealed. I did comment on that in the video, as well as some other stuff, including a, an opinion on game pre-ordering. You get my opinion on that, see? You got a little bit of information every now and again from me. Just a little. A little. <laughs> and the next thing is on the floor. I was in a... What was it? Red Cross, I think? A Red Cross thrift store? I don't remember the name of it. Sorry, I go there all the time, but I never ever memorize the place because it usually doesn't have very much. It's a very small store, so the footage I got in the... Won't be very good. Won't be very good at all. Because the place is small, but it's always crowded. Because Red Cross, they kind of... They market their product towards old people and hipsters. 
So they're always in there, and you can't just whip out a camera and start filming when someone's in the area that you want to look at stuff in. And they keep they keep all the video games kind of next to the counter because it's a disc-based media that they think they can get a bit more money for, which is totally fine. They can press it whatever they want. I'm not going to buy. I'm not going to buy a copy of Dawn of War for fifteen dollars on the PC, but whatever. They can price it at whatever they want. They're a thrift store. It goes to charity. And more importantly than that, they're a business. But we did have one thing I was interested in. They actually had some DVDs that I was interested in, but I had already bought two DVDs and I didn't want to get any more. So I've already stocked up on DVDs. But I grabbed a random issue of Game Informer. I scoured the entire store. They did not have a single other one. And when I got this home, read through it, it reminded me why I dislike Game Informer. It's... All the information is in here is stuff that I find online all the time. You know, I just go onto any gaming website and you'll find all of this. The only reason you would really buy it is for, like, exclusive stuff. And even then, there are no exclusive things in here. It's all online. But, eh... I actually could look at it this way. I do enjoy reading the reviews, so Grid 2, 8.25. Grid 2 is a great game. And for only... 50 cents? I don't feel like that's sending me to the poorhouse. Uh, before I get on to these, I'd just like to say... Grid 2 had the most expensive collector's edition in history. It was... it was limited to one. And it was a sports car. I don't remember what kind of sports car, I think it might have been a Ferrari. And you would buy it, and it came with a copy of the game, and like a steering wheel and all of that, and then an actual racing car. It cost like $300,000 or something insane like that. That's pretty cool. I mean, even if I had that kind of money, I wouldn't buy it, but to whoever bought that, that's cool. And the last thing I bought, but certainly not least, because all of this crap, I'll actually show you a quick look at this. I bought all the stuff in that tub over the weekend, and I'm going to do its own dedicated video. So the last place I went was a RSPCA op shop slash thrift store, so help the animals all that jazz. They didn't really have anything at first when I was looking through their stock. If they had DVDs for two dollars each, I would buy a bunch from there, but they have them for three dollars each. It doesn't seem like much individually, but as you start to stack them up, it would get high. Ha 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 high. You know, we just passed 420. So, I'm sure there's someone out there watching this video that celebrated it. But what I did buy, I found it on camera, which is actually pretty amazing to me. So it's like a candid reaction, even though I don't say anything, and I don't make any weird move. I mean, the look on my face is just... That was the look on my face because I was very happy to find these games. Games that I can trade into EV games and a few that I can actually keep, so... The games for $2 each. We're up to the counter, $2 each. That's fantastic. Uh, Rhythm Heaven for the DS. Tap into the rhythm. I've been looking at this game for ages, but it's always been like 10 bucks in my local EB games. It's a cool game. Crash of the Titans. I actually enjoy this game on the PlayStation 2. It's not the best game in the Crash Bandicoot series, but it's not a bad game. And it's probably broken now. My Sims on the Nintendo DS. Once again, for a very good $2. I'll be trading that one into EB Games to fund my pre-orders. The Sims 2 on Nintendo DS. I know a person that likes a Sim, so I might give it to them. If they don't want it, once again, to EB Games with it. And finally, one that I might keep, depending on the quality. I'm not too sure about it. Spider-Man, but tail poor New York. I'm not mispronouncing that. It is in French. As is the entire back cover. But it still works in my DS. 
and I might be trading that one in depending if it's any good, so... For $10, I got 5 Nintendo DS games. I think that's good. For a single day, that's good. And that's really everything. I have nothing to complain about. I have no rant to go on. Well, no rant for this video anyway. The next one's going to have a bit of a doozy, but... That's everything. Game over, man. Game over. So, this is Seeker of my house bidding you farewell. Stay the hell out of my thrift stores. Because I'm getting the good stuff.